All right, I'm here with uh, boxing legend, New England legend, Mickey Ward. Um, Mickey, man, you're, you're here at Combat Zone 75. We're going to be doing some appearances. Uh, you excited to, to kind of see some fans on St. Patrick's Day, nonetheless? Uh, yeah, 100%. Um, it's it's going to be a great event. Um, come down here, I got my merchandise here. Let's come down and support Calvin Cater, uh, you know, putting this thing on. I believe it's a, it's a great thing. You know, he's a good friend of mine. I, I worked with Calvin years ago. Great fighter, great kid. Uh, you know, why not come down and help out, help out, you know, and see the young fighters and... You know, give him a little bit of uh, inspiration, maybe. I don't know. Something, I mean, something to, something to push harder, maybe. You know what I mean? Uh, so hey, and I, li I always liked them. I mean, you know, I mean, I fought kind of, walk straight in, kind of. You know what I mean? Like that crazy style. So. I'm more, if, if I wish MMA was around when I was doing it, I probably would have ended up doing that. That's what I was going to ask you. You know, yeah. uh, first when MMA came out, it was kind of like a rivalry, it seemed like, between boxing. Right. Some people yeah. didn't like it, but now it seems like everybody gets along. So do, do oh, you, yeah. you enjoy it? 100%. I mean, it's combat sports, boxing, uh, whatever it may be. You know what I mean? It's combat sports. Why not? You know, uh, plus it's, uh, I'm telling you, you know, but at least boxing, you worry about, you know, you know one thing, the hands. This here, you're gonna worry about the feet, the elbows, and that's the worst part. I'd rather get hit and punch any day in the head than get elbowed in the head or knee in the head or kicked in the head. So it's tough, you know what I mean? But it has like boxing is a lot different from the way they has has a strong points for this that. But but they're both real combat sports, and uh, it's something I love. I love about it, you know what I mean? That it's competition. It's it's toughness. Toughness, you know what I mean? At the core of toughness is this, you know what I mean? So. You have to have a big, a big will. Not your heart, so everyone's the same size heart. It's your will to endure things and keep going. You gotta have a big one to do this. Yeah, and you're here doing an appearance with some fans. Uh, you got your merch booth set up here. Yeah. What, what do you got? What are you kind of doing these days? Are you still uh, very much involved in the boxing world? I mean, you're a legend around here. People know you. They come yeah. to see you. But yeah, well, the thing is, I'm working with a, a, a company called Live Train. LiveTrain.com. It is. It's a, it's a mobile app. You can go on and train with me. We have many MMA guys on it that used to fight. Dana White gave us a, a bunch of guys, ex-fighters. Ex I'm good friends with Dana. I've been out to Vegas twice to see Dana about it. And uh, Dana's giving us a little push for it too also. It's called Live Train, and you can see me on there. I guess he, uh, Den Thomas is part of it. Yep. Uh, we have guys like that. We have uh, um, a bunch of ex-MMA guys. I just can't top my mind think of their names. Uh, Randy Couture is, is, uh, helps us out and stuff like that. So. We have a boxing, MMA, and wrestling, and um, those are the three things you know you got to do for MMA, pretty much. So that's what we started on. And uh, so if you if you're interested in training with me or one of the MMA guys or wrestling guys, learn wrestling from my uh, John Smith's son, people like that around the thing. Uh, Dave Master Giovanni is two his, uh, sons are national. Uh, high, two of his sons go to uh, Blair Academy they went to, and now they're at uh, Oklahoma State University wrestling under John Smith. So they were live trained also. Yeah, what does it mean to you, I mean, after all these years to still be able, that your name still holds so much weight, right? You know, fans still know you, everybody knows you, the movie, everything. Uh, yeah. does, it, does it mean a lot to you still these days? Yeah, it, it's cool, you know. Like you said, the movie brought a lot of the fans that didn't really know me from boxing because of the movie and stuff. That made it bigger, I guess, you know. But, uh, you know, it just paid me the way I fought, just gave everybody everything I had. And, uh, you know, it's... It's all you can do in sports, uh, work, whatever, is just go in and give everything you have and then leave the audience, you know, wow, what a fight that was, you know what I mean? I think I did that, so I think that's why people grasp me. And plus, I'm humble and I, I'm not a punk. Anyone that talk, anyone talks about themselves, there's a problem. You know what I mean? You, know, you shouldn't have to. And I know you were known in the boxing community for the Arturo Gotti fights, and it's funny because I saw Mark Wahlberg posted something recently saying if he were to do a sequel to one of his movies, he would like to do uh, to do that and kind of cover that aspect. Was that cool to see as well, that that yeah. legacy is being recognized? Yeah, it's 100%. I was actually talking with Mark not too long ago and stuff, you know, and uh, hopefully, you know, down the road, hopefully something can happen. You know, we don't know because there's a lot to it. You know, I, there was a lot of talk about it before the pandemic. Then the pandemic hit, and then everything kind of got put back, and so now we'll see. Hopefully, we'll see. When you uh, is that your favorite thing from your boxing career? The thing that you're most proud of? Uh, like, kind of, what's your memories of that trilogy? It's just a, the most best thing about that trilogy was the uh, friendship we got. You know what I mean? I mean, the fights were good, yeah, but I, I got a very good friend out of it. You know, a great friend, and uh, too bad he had he passed, but. You know, we, I, I had a very guy got a great friend out of it. I wanted to take his head off, and then after that we became friends. It's crazy. Yeah. 
Yeah, connection like none other. And do you still watch boxing today? Are you still a fan? Is there anybody out there that you particularly enjoy watching? I mean, there's, there's so many fighters. Um, you got Shakur Stevens. You got guys like, you know, the... Uh, I have so many good fighters. I hate to say one name without the other. I just can't, like, you know, you put me on a spot. I don't even... Yeah, I don't know. But uh, there's so many good fighters. Like, you know what I mean? You got Lomachenko still fighting. You got, like, uh, the kid that beat him. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Lopez. Yep. You got the guy that beat him. Yep. You know, um, Cambosis from uh, Australia, good, good George, fighter. Yeah. Then you got all these guys, like, um, you got um, Tank Davis. Man, the kids can fight his ass off, you know what I mean? I love that kid, he can fight. You know, and just a bunch of guys like that, you know what I mean? It's great up-and-coming kid fighters, you know, so, you know, with, with boxing coming back, with MMA, you know, MMA sells out every time, you know what I mean? So with that, you know, I think the combat sports is where it should be. Yeah. I'm only going to take up another minute of your time, but how are you feeling these days? Is it, are you feeling pretty good? I mean, we talk about boxers a lot of times, you know, after their careers and, uh, some of the injuries they deal with. Uh, do you feel like you, you still feel decently, or? Yeah, I have. I have bad. Like, I have CTE or signs of CTE. You know, I uh, I take medicine for it once a day. But uh, I'm good though. You know, I stay healthy. I stay in the gym. I, I uh, you know, I don't drink much at all. You know, what I mean, I don't do drugs. So I'm, I'm good. You know, what I mean, if I do it with a big drink or this and that, then I'd be like, Ugh. I try to stay healthy, and that's the key. You know, what I mean, when you retire, just try to work. So is, is the uh, the symptoms you deal with are they more physical or kind of mental or kind of a combination? It's like the, the, the physical like headaches and stuff. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. yeah and I, I mean, I've had my fair share of concussions and stuff too. I had post concussion syndrome at one point. So I know the brain is kind of an interesting thing. There's not like a ton they know, but is, is the do you feel like the technology is moving in the right direction? Some of the medications and stuff. 100 percent. Um, 100 um, percent. It, it's come full circle to what it once was when it first started. Like. Dr. Robert Cantu was my doctor from, right? Me too. Yeah. Yep. So Dr. Conquered. Cantu, conquered. Yep. Yeah, so I have the best doctor and like, and it's like funny that how like things have come so far like before, because like I believe now they can, before they can never see until you're dead. Now I think they'll come up with a thing where they can see before you die how bad you have it or whatever, before you had to be dead, I guess, to see how bad it was. But I think now, I think in the future, they're going to have somewhere they'll be able to see how bad you have it before you die. So we'll yeah. see. Making progress, making progress. That's one step at a time. Well, Mickey, I really appreciate it. Uh, good luck with everything tonight. Enjoy the fights and uh, appreciate it. Yeah.